come to the course of uh, power electronics in control drives. So today we are going to start the new topic of uh, this subject that is unit 5. Uh, the heading of this unit are like, like this, wrote the side control of three phase induction motor drives. So in the earlier we have seen there what are the different types of uh, induction motor control methods on scatter side, how to control the induction motor with the help of the scatter voltage control method, voltage control method as well as the VBF control method and with the help of the PWM motor we can uh, how to control the speed of the motor. This uh, the above what sorry these methods are comes under the scatter side control methods which I have already seen in the unit 4. Now today is the rotor side control of a 3 force induction motor drive. So we are going to see the different kinds of rotor side control methods on induction motor. So how to control the induction motor with on rotor side, rotor side induction motor because induction motor is control from rotor side. So when we are talking about the rotor side control, so always you have in your mind only slip induction motor. Because of the three phase induction motor basically two types that is the scurrilous induction motor as well as the slipping induction motor. Uh, the another name of the slipping induction motor as like that like wound rotor induction motor. But uh, we know that in, in the earlier uh, uh, in the 2-2 two -two semester I think M2 subject 2-1 subject 2-1 uh, semester M2 subject we have already seen that the rotor side control method is not applicable for scale gauge induction motor. Even though having the robust construction and very rugged construction and have better features compared to the uh, these motors, but we are not utilizing the uh, scale gauge induction motor from rotor side control methods. So uh, I am saying that here the rotor side control method is only applicable for slip ring induction motor, not applicable for scale gauge induction motor. So very important point in the three phase induction motor. So, so I'm, uh, here we are controlling the rotor side control method. In the wire management rotor side control method, and always my mind loan does in the slipping induction motor method. Okay. At the static side control method, and we need for uh, we can apply both uh, scurrying gauge induction motor as well as the slipping induction motor. But uh, rotor side control method is not possible for slipping uh, scurrying gauge induction motor. Only applicable for slipping induction motor. The another name of the slipping induction motor is Scale like this, the wound rotor induction motor. Slipping induction motor and name is wound rotor induction motor. So according to the, our syllabus, as per the J2 case syllabus, uh, there are uh, different kind of rotor methods. That is first one is the conventional re resistance control method. And second is the static resistance control method. And third is the slip power recording schemes. So even though the zippering induction motor having a high cost, high inertia and also some drawbacks and also large size because of additional slipperings and also maintenance is required because of brushes and slipperings but is a slipping, uh, uh, the slipping induction motor is the oldest method and the simple method compared to the other methods. Basically the rotor side control and the scatter side control method the basic difference is in case of scatter side control method we can control the speed torque characteristics of the induction motor with the help of the variable voltage and variable frequency as well as the VVF control method or otherwise PWM motor method. But uh, the rotor side control method the main advantages of uh, the rotor side control method especially while dealing with the slip power recovery schemes is a advantage is we can control the speed of the motor and so we can recover the what are the power slip power available in the rotor of induction motor we can recover that slip power and that can be converted into useful form it may be converted into mechanical energy it may be converted into electrical energy that is the main importance of the this for understanding speed torque characteristics control just to manu one as a slip power waste chain kunda recover just especially in the slip power recovery scheme in the conventional resistance control method, we know that in the induction motor speed control in which we are to do, that is another one But uh, it is not uh, specifically mentioned in the syllabus. Uh, the starting syllabus of the topic is stat static rotor resistance control, and second topic is slip power recovery schemes. In that, there are sub topics all there and advanced application there. But uh, before going to start the actual syllabus of the content in the J2K syllabus, static rotor resistance control method, just we talk about the conventional rotor resistance control method. 
ओके फस्ट कन्वे रोटेशन मेथड डिस्कसा तरह स्टाटिक रोटेशन कटो मेथड तरह स्ली पवर एफ स्की सो अगे बिफोर स्टार्ट दी मेथड जस्ट लट ओवर व्यू आफ दिस थ्री मेथड्स इन द कन्वे रोटेशन कंट्रोल मेथड वी कैन कंट्रोल दि रेसीस्टेंस आफ दि रोटर देर बै कैन कंट्रोल दि करे थ्रू दि रोटर देर फोर यू कैन कंट्रोल दि टाक आफ दि मोटर दिस इज द कन्वे रोटेशन कंट्रोल मेथड विथ दर पब्लिक सम एक्सटर्नल रेसीस्टेंस इनसर्टेड इन दि स्लिप्रिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दि स्लिप्रिंग कंडक्शन मोटर हाव इन दिजिबिलिटी टू इनसर्ट एक्सट्रा रेसीस्टेंस टू दि मोटर सैड दट इज नाट हापनिंग इन केस आफ दि स्क्रेस इंडक्शन मोटर इंडक्शन And the third method is the slip power energetic cross skins. Just now I told that it is the method is applicable to control the speed of the motor as well as we can uh, save the slip energy of the motor. There are two kinds of methods. There is the first one is a first or second we can mention what are maybe there is the problem Cramer system and the second is the Sebius trap. Sebius drive and Cramer drive. Sebius drive and Cramer drive. Again, the Cramer drive has two kinds of methods sub subdivided into two types. There is a conventional and static type. And again, Sebius is conventional static. Unfortunately, it is not having uh, in our syllabus not having any conventional methods. We directly go through the static methods. So static Cramer drive is there and static Sebius drive is there. So this is the slip power thing. E method, E method differentiate it. In those speed we control chase to slip power and power energy waste out from the useful chase point of that is the main main importance of the slip power recovery skills. After the discussion over the static resistance and slip power recovery skills, we go for the some numerical problems and applications of that. So this is the overview of this uh, unit five. In the next class, we go into see the uh, conventional resistance control method. It is not actually mentioned in the syllabus. But we now understand the static rotor spin control method. We have uh, some literature review on that topic. So that is the conventional rotor spin control method. Thank you.